Greetings and salutations. Today's video is brought to you by Technically Not a Technician, and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can easily play any of your existing PC games via a standard console-style controller. To do this modern-day miracle, we'll be using a small but powerful, free, open-source program called Antimicro X. Antimicro comes in a few distributions, with the newest at the time of making this video being Antimicro X version 3.3.3. This powerful controller to keyboard mouse program is priced to meet our needs at 100% free, and it gives us the flexibility to bind out keyboard keys and our mouse to the buttons and sticks on our controller. For today's example, I'm using a cost-effective Logitech model number F710. It's a simple controller that meets my PC controller needs and uses a USB dongle to connect wirelessly to my computer. This program can be installed in a number of ways. But for this video, we'll be installing Antimicro X from the release page and using the Windows installer. To find the version we want, we'll go to the release page and scroll to the assets area. Here we see the portable Windows version, a few versions for Ubuntu, and even what I am guessing is an Apple installer. Again for our needs I'll be using the standard Windows version. After you've downloaded Antimicro X, open the installer to begin. Once open, you should get a warning screen letting you know that this program is unrecognized. Simply click on the Run Anyway button if you wish to move forward. Once clicked, the installer will continue to install the binding software. Basically, you need to click Next and the I Agree buttons to continue with the installation. I personally also install this program most often on the system path for all users. However, I have no idea if this is really helpful. Feel free to experiment if you wish. Next, we're asked where we'd like to have our program installed, and we'll be asked about choosing a Start Menu folder. I'll be keeping it as the default for both. Now that the program is installed, it's time to bind some of the controller buttons to keyboard and mouse keys. To do so, we'll first simply start the program. As you can see, Antimicro sees and knows what kind of controller I have, and when I press a button on my console controller, the Antimicro software sees what key I'm pressing. To bind this controller, we will use our mouse to select a controller button, and we will use the Antimicro X software to select what keyboard or mouse action we wish to have happen. I'll start with my two trigger keys. Personally, I like to bind them to my right and left mouse buttons. That said, you can bind yours in any way you wish, and at this point it's really a preference on what keys you wish to use. Next, I'll select the left action on my left joystick, and I'll bind that action to my left arrow key. This way, when I use my left stick and move it to the left, the left arrow key will be activated. I'll also be doing the same with the right forward and back actions on this left joystick in the same fashion. I'm now going to tell Antimicro to use my right joystick as a mouse. Using the left stick to move forward, back, and to strafe left, and right, and using the right stick as a mouse seems to work well for me on any first-person shooters I wish to load up. I'm now controlling my mouse arrow with my Logitech controller. Kinda cool, right? Next let's program the shoulder buttons on the controller. Again, keep in mind that you can bind any key you wish to bind. If you wish to bind other keys please feel free to play around with it. The last key I'm going to bind is the A button on the controller, and I do feel I should say that for this demo I've only configured a handful of buttons. Normally, I program them all. That said, once you're done making your bindings, save your new config. I'm going to call mine basic. Now that we have this bad boy saved let's give it a short test drive, and please keep in mind that I suck when I use a controller. Uh -oh.
thank you for checking out today's video. I hope you've enjoyed it and found it informative. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with a friend. These are all small clicks for you, but they make all the difference in the world to this small channel.